happy I'm yeah. alive. All right. So Good just... morning, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Dr. Fantastic Interviews. Today, we're turning the tide, uh, turning the table, as it were, and I'm going to be interviewed. So listen in while Tony Ferrari from Yale University interviews Dr. Fantastic. Hope you enjoy the interview. It's unscripted, as all my interviews are. Um, his is a little bit scripted. He's a, he's a professional, and he's got a very fancy microphone in front of me. But I do things, I'm looking for content, not over quality. And as you know, my shows are all designed to bring you information and or technology that will improve your mind, your body, or the planet. And everything's geared to moving the, the movement forward, the Be Fantastic movement, to make the world a kinder, more gentle place, pollinating positivity, and cultivating civility. So without further ado, Tony, take it away. Uh, Dr. Fantastic, uh, it's great uh, to have you on the show. Uh, please tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, this Be Fantastic movement you're starting. Uh, what is it and how did you get involved with this? Well, as you know, as I believe, as one of my, I'm a philosopher, motivational speaker, author, producer, humanitarian, have a couple of charities. Life is a series of left and right turns. You turn left, you turn right every day. And one of my philosophies is that there are no wrong turns. So I've had 98 professions. I've worked in 98 professions. Last month was Santa Claus. I don't know if you saw any of the videos from that. That was very, very rewarding to bring such joy. But um, I believe in flowing, being positive, knowing that it's all going to work out. And I do things for challenges, and I do things for fun. I don't do things for money. I can make a whole lot more money doing other things. But um, so in, in answer to your question... Uh, a couple years ago, uh, John Paul DeGioia, who you might know from Patron Tequila and Paul Mitchell Hair Products, has been a supporter of my veteran charity. Um, it's called Supporting Our Servicemen, ilovesos.org. And he has um, agreed to give me cell phones for veterans. And I arranged with another friend who's launching a um, broadcast network to give each one of those veterans a free half hour weekly. Wow. And so I went out to prove a point that with a s simple cell phone, you could make content. And of course, it's been proven with you know the YouTubers out there. Um, and so I became a, a, a Uber driver and a Lyft driver. And I went out and I started a show called The SOS Show. And I interviewed people as I drove them in Uber. And it was so much fun, but I proved the concept that with a cell, simple cell phone, free software on the internet, and a free distribution network, which mm -hmm. is also you know YouTube and other things, you can make a living. Or, or a side living or whatever. Right. As long as you can create a nice interview, interview a sh shop owner, whatever, and you know they could get their own sponsors. I didn't want any money from this, hmm. nor did JP, nor did the person with the free um, internet broadcasting network. Um, it was all for the veterans. And uh, after 10 hours, I, I was having so much fun, and I proved concept. I did no edits, and I still haven't done an edit, 3,000 interviews later. Wow. Um, and uh, I was having so much fun, I decided to do a show for myself. And that was called Uplifting Interviews with Total Strangers. And I, again, I kept taking in writers and interviewing total freaking strangers, having a ball. Everyone's always enjoyed the interview. And then I started asking people how they were, and everyone was saying they were good. And it drove me nuts. That word, that four-letter word drove me nuts. And everyone was just good. Was just good. So um, somehow or other, I came up with a better answer. And I came up with an answer, and that not only makes you feel great, makes you look great, but it also makes you live longer. It's an incredible word. It's not only a word, it's a energy. Because when you say this word, you live longer. Because it releases the endorphins, the dopamine, and the serotonin. Try it right now. Say, I am fantastic. I am fantastic. You see the big smile on your face? How do you feel right now after saying that? You feel fantastic. You feel fantastic. Yeah. Well, because of the endorphins, the dopamine. And the reason you live longer is because by saying the word and smiling or laughing, you live five minutes longer because it reduces stress. So I think I'm a simple guy. My education was uh, hitchhiking around the world. I went to the best college on the planet, School of Hard Knocks. I graduated summa cum laude in, in 72. <laughs> um, and after 98 professions, traveling around the world, meeting thousands and thousands and thousands of people from the richest people and uh, literally kings and presidents to homeless people and, and poor people, and average people. I've, came, I've, I've combined them all into this plan. Again, I'm a simple guy with a simple plan. Mm. And everyone on the planet, 
every single day is asked how they are hmm. upon greeting another human. Most people don't know where it comes from. I'm hoping this is a lot of people that are fresh haven't heard my story, but it's 600 years old, that question, how are you? It came out during the days of the Black Plague, when it not only, it was going to save your life to ask it, but if I got this close to you and asked it, I died within a week, as a third of the world did. So back then, you'd scream out from the top of your lungs to your, to your friend, Tony, how are you? And Tony only had one of two answers. The bad news was he'd yell back, I've got it, which meant I have the plague. If you come visit me, you'll be dead in a week. That's wow. the bad answer. The good answer was, I'm well. Yes. That's the good answer. But today, nobody says well. It's actually proper grammar. Everyone says good, okay, so far so good, can't complain, not bad, not too bad. The real positive people say great, awesome, wonderful, or blessed, or living a dream, right? So some positive answers, and there's some non-answers. It's a rhetorical question. No one cares to hear the answer, and in today's society, no one has time to hear the answer. Hmm. So, basically, I came up with a better answer. And this answer uh, is called um, I'm Fantastic, and it's the Be Fantastic Movement. It's a website, it's um, a YouTube show, an Instagram, a, a Facebook, a Twitter, all the media, uh, social medias are out there to tell the people there's a better way to look at your life and to be positive. Because when you say you're fantastic, even if you're not, it makes you feel better because it makes you smile. But it's a giving thing. It's giving energy to someone. Because the word fantastic is not just a word, it's an energy because of what it does with the endorphins and the dopamine. The word good doesn't have any energy whatsoever. It's blah, it's, it's mundane, it's average. And I came up with a, an acronym for the, the people that don't know any better, that, because over 600 years, we just it's just evolved into good, and how are you? I call them moaners, M-O-A-N. And don't take offense, everyone who's listening, but you didn't know better till today. Moan stands for M for mediocre, O for ordinary, a for average and N for normal. <laughs> you don't want to be a moaner. You're not going to be successful, in my opinion, as a moaner. We, I need to get this message to the children of the world. Now, the people listening to this are probably college kids. They're going to one day have children, and I encourage them to teach their children not to say good when asked, how are you, but to say, I am fantastic. That builds their confidence, their self-esteem. It puts them above everyone else. And in this competitive world, you need a little cutting edge. You know? So that's the movement, and I'm very proud to have created it. But it took me 98 professions and 65 years to, um, to, to, to fall into it. But um, a lot of people on my board are incredibly um, smart. Almost everyone's a college graduate. I like working with people that are smarter than me. And I'm putting together a team, and I invite your audience to be volunteers, be, um, help spread the movement, become an ambassador. By the way, everybody, Tony is uh, the latest ambassador at number 141. Now, we have 141 ambassadors around the world in 41 countries. We need 141,000, if not 141 million. There's seven and a half billion people on the planet. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but there's been 100 billion on the planet so far. 100 billion people have lived on this planet so far. In history. In history. Seven and a half are still alive. And we, no one's asked any new questions. See, I'm a philosopher. And I can answer most anyone's question because there are no new questions. What about love? What about work? What about the universe? You know, there's no new questions. Mm. Um, and everyone takes life too serious. And you're only here for 100 or so years, if you're lucky, a little bit more than 100. Right. So that's a very short time. So most people don't get how important every day is till they're either retired, halfway through, like 55, or retired. And they look back and say, gosh, I blew it. My kids, I didn't see my kids grow up. I didn't see my son's first step. My daughter's play or a ballet first, first you know, exhibit, hmm. right? And you can't take that time back. So I'm on a mission to tell people, start living, you know, because a lot of philosophers have said, live every day as though it's your last, because one day it might be. Hmm. Now, um, and Mark Twain, I like to quote is, the two best days in a person's life, and this is actually an answer to your question as well, are the day you are born and the day you discover why. I had an epiphany a couple years ago that sent me on this journey as I was doing my, you know, uplifting interviews with total strangers and involved to the Be Fantastic show, Be Fantastic Movement. Um, and I'm having the time of my life having fun. And of my 3,000 interviews, not one person has not enjoyed the interview. I've never done an edit, a retake, or a rehearsal. 
It's me having a great conversation with hopefully a very intelligent person and <clears throat> taking that knowledge. Like last night's conversation with Doug Ivanovich, and I'm going to probably post it as soon as I can on, on, on my podcast show, was historic. He's doing Earth Day 50 in April with the biggest technologies on the planet. He has radiation, um, what do you call it, radiation, when you reduce something, um, elimination. You know, he can reduce, and he's proven it, and he's seen it. They have now a technique to eliminate radiation. Fukushima is a good example of what needs to be done right now. Um, he's got water technology. One gallon of water will produce a thousand gallons of fuel. Wow. One gallon of water with this new technology. So he's releasing these new technologies on Earth Day to the world, and he's got the biggest players on the planet. The UN is behind him. It was wait till you hear this conversation. It was an hour long. It will blow your mind. And I have these conversations quite often with movers and shakers because after 98 careers, I know a few people. Hmm. And they're behind my movement. There's not a person I've met that didn't think uh, or, or believe that this is necessary, not only for yourself, but for the planet. Because the governments aren't going to make a, a civil society. The onus is on people, the citizens. It's on people. It's on us. And I mean, you said you, you were talking about spirituality. I uplift people's spirit every day. Hmm. Now, you, in the only thing I did in research to your um, thing about spirituality is I looked up the word. And it still says it's about, about religion. The definition. I don't talk religion or politics on my show because it's opinionated and we don't know what the hell's going on. And if, and if we can't all agree on something, then, then it's not something I want to talk about. But we can all agree on being positive is, um, is better than being negative, And we're going to be asked how we are every single day of our life. So I encourage your listeners, this is the first day of the rest of their life. Your mother always said, think before speaking. So when someone says, how are you? Uh, think of the best word the best energy word in response to that that makes you live longer look better feel better and it does the same thing to the other person and that's the word fantastic and it means unimaginably good and beautiful in the dictionary that's the definition of the word wow. so I ask people do you want to have a good career or a fantastic one I'm going to ask you it's a fantastic right? do you want to marry a good person or a fantastic person fantastic you want to have a good career or a fantastic career fantastic career you want to go to a good doctor or a fantastic doctor Fantastic. You want to have a good interview right now or a fantastic interview right now? <laughs> you know, fantastic beats down every time. So I'm very passionate about this. My wife thinks I'm crazy to try to change the world. But I'm going to go with Steve Jobs because I think he was a little bit more successful than my wife. And Steve Jobs once said, people who are crazy enough to think they can make a difference in the world are the ones that do. Hmm. So with your help and your, your audience's help, and um, as we get to on bigger and bigger stages of the world, as I do, Saying exactly what I just said now, I think we can make a difference in the world. Absolutely. So does that answer your question? Yes. <laughs> Good. Uh, so actually, let's talk a little bit about that. You know, there's many of us out there who want to make a difference in the world. Uh, you know, so far, I haven't met a single person who doesn't say, I want to leave the world better than I found it. Okay. Uh, but many of us oftentimes feel overwhelmed uh, with life's obstacles, with life's challenges, uh, what do you say to those people? How do you get started? How can you have an impact? Well, they're thinking too far down the line if they're thinking to change the world. You can do it on, your day, on day one by being kind, being polite, being uh, civil. You know, this movement, as I said, is pollinating positivity and cultivating civility. Believe that all your turns are the correct one. I don't know if I said that already, but if I repeat myself, when your life has been a series of left and right turns, and as mine has been, before we it was 65 years and probably five months of my left and right turns before meeting you, and you had 20 some odd years before meeting me of left and right turns. They all had to be the correct turn, or we would never have met. I tell people, look at every turn you make as the correct one. Hmm. When you look at every turn, no matter how it comes out, it was the correct turn because you didn't make the other one. So when you believe that you made the right turn, which is a decision, you get confidence in your decision making. With that confidence, you're going to get success in life. And with that success in life, you're going to be happy. Now, the secret to happiness I want to share with the audience is when you jump out of bed in the morning looking forward to your day. That means you're going to have fun that day. And that means you're going to do it well because you're having fun at it. And when you do it well, you'll make money at it. Now, me, I jump out of bed every morning. 
You know, I do, I do simple things. I don't make new things to make money. I, I still drive Uber, which I love because I meet someone new every day. And they may be the one that's going to help the next step in my journey of a thousand miles. Every, every journey, I say, is the journey of a thousand miles begins with about a single step, right? There's a lot of things. I'm not inventing anything new. I'm just push, putting in a little different package because we all can make a difference just by saying the word fantastic. Don't say this, this was a really good interview. Say it was a fantastic interview. Don't say have a good day to people. Say have a fantastic day. It opens up people's minds when they hear that word. You're going to start hearing that word now all the time. And it's amazing. Of the 5,000 people I've given this introduction to, I want you to guess. And I can write the number down because I know what number you're going to guess. How many of you think out of 5,000 have met someone in their entire life, and I'm talking about a lot of old people too, that says they're fantastic when asked how they are. What's your guess out of 5,000? Uh, on a regular basis? No, no, no. The question is, I've asked 5,000 people this question. Have you met someone that says they're fantastic in answer to how are you? You follow the question? Uh, how many out of 5,000 do you think have said yes to it? Probably not too many. Well, it's a number. Give me a number. Uh, 10%. Well, that's an extremely um, optimistic answer. Very few people will say 10%. 99.9% of the people of 5,000 I've asked say 10 or less. Most people say zero. Because no one, have you ever met someone that says they're fantastic in your, in your life? Besides myself. Uh, not really. And in fact... Most uh, people haven't. Something that surprises me is uh, you may ask a person genuinely, how are you? And the person uh, often replies with the same question, right? Well, they say good and how are you is what they answer. Uh, yeah. They don't say how are you. They, they will never say how are you back. They'll first answer good and how are you. Right. Believe me, I've been doing this a couple of years now. Yes. I know what's going on. And so the answer is 102. 102 have said they've met someone. And here's the beautiful part. They've never forgotten them. That's why I say on my card, you'll be happier, live longer, and never be forgotten. You, going through your schooling and going through your career, if you answer that age-old 600-year-old question every single time, no matter what, that you're fantastic, you will never be forgotten by that person. I don't care if it's at a supermarket and the cashier says, how are you doing? You say, I am fantastic. They will never forget you. And I can say this from experience, because of those 102 people, it might have been, met, been someone they met in passing at an airport. They never forgot that person. And a lot of people say, oh, sure. Because how could you figure, how could you, have, how old are you? 24. T two dozen years, and you've never met someone that says they're fantastic. That, to me, is sad. Okay? But you've heard the word fantastic. People say, well, that was a fantastic uh, dinner, or that was, this is the, but when you say you're fantastic, it builds your confidence your self-esteem, it makes you um, engage in conversation, uh, the, the opposite sex will like you more, in business you'll be more successful because it means you're confident, hmm. right? And now, uh, so these things you're proposing, these uh, statements, these uh, positive affirmations, uh, are you aware of any scientific literature out there supporting uh, you know, how saying the word fantastic or saying I'm feeling great uh, versus uh, a neutral response. Yes. Um, when you say the word fantastic, it makes you smile. Now, the, um, the smile, this is proven, this is science, releases the endorphins, the dopamine, and the serotonin, as I mentioned earlier, which reduce your stress, which make you live longer. Because less stress, people who are happy and stress-free live longer. So, every time you smile or laugh, you're going to live five minutes longer. I'm not, I didn't make this up. It's science that says this. So there's the proof right there that the word in itself is, is going to make you happier. But it also, when you read it or hear it, it makes you smile. It's, a, it's an energy. And it's, just, it's one of the most fantastic words around. So by saying the word, I am fantastic, uh, you are manifesting fantastic things in your own life. Well, it's I think, therefore I am. If you think you're a handsome, successful, happy person, you are. If you think you're an ugly failure and unhappy, you are that. And if you think you can do something, you can. I think I can make the world a better place. And I am with thousands of people so far. If I think I can't do it, I will never be able to do it. It's, as, as it's, Henry it's perception. Ford once said, whether you think you can or you think you can't, 
You're right. You're right, exactly. I just said it a little bit differently, right? So it's all perception. We talked earlier about you know people being rude and not let you in in traffic and things. In a small town, they'll do that because there's accountability hmm. for your actions in a small town because you know everybody. At a, at a dinner party, you're not going to shove someone aside to get to the dinner table because there's accountability. In, in a big city and these big metropolises around the world, which I've been around, no one knows each other, so there's... They don't give a darn about them. They'll honk at you if you, there's a space in front of you. I mean, I can go on for hours about this, about the rude people on the road, because it's, it's the, the greedy, selfish society that we live in, which is a, because of overcrowdedness, is, is, is everyone's on a chase for money. You're, on a, you're speeding to that red light so you can get to work and make money. Hmm. You don't get to the destination any sooner by getting to the red light quicker. Well, you watch these people. They're wearing their brakes out. They're costing money in gas. They're polluting the planet. They're risking accidents. And um, they're getting stressed because wow. they're in a hurry because they're late. Stress is all your fault. If you're stressed that this interview isn't going to be um, going to go well or it's not going to be uh, heard by any, or that's a stress you're putting on yourself. It doesn't matter if no one hears this. You and I are having a good time. Right. Because you, uh, I like to say this, Tony. In the audience, I'll direct it to Tony, though. Tony, you are a star of a movie called Tony. Imagine there's a film camera every day filming your life. Every day are multiple scenes in your life. I tell people, uh, not only are you the star of that movie, Tony, you're also the director, the producer, and the screenwriter. You have to make every scene in your movie fun, exciting, educational, motivational, inspirational. Every scene. Because after this interview, you're going to go to another scene. You're going to go back to your place. And after that, you might go to an uh, event. You, it's up to you. No one else is going to make you have a fantastic scene. When you, are, when you do all this, I'm telling you, you're going to have a fantastic life, as I've had. Because I know that I'm the, the, my destiny. You are your destiny. And no one's opinions matter but yours. Mm-hmm. Not your dad's, not mine, not your girl, not anyone, not your professor. Because they all have agendas behind their opinions. Only person that matters is yours, and it doesn't matter what. If, if, I always tell my wife, if I go out in the world today and I meet a hundred people that say I'm an ugly loser, I'll come back at the end of the day and say, What are the odds I ran into a hundred wrong people today? Because hmm. I know I'm not an ugly loser. I may be ugly, but I'm not a loser. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's all perception, but your perception of yourself is more important than anything. So, again, when you asked about going out there and, and changing the world, First off, the first step, it's a simple, I'm a simple guy with a simple plan, is to start using the word fantastic. Have a fantastic day. Don't say have a good day. You look fantastic. Don't say you look good. You tell girls all the time. You don't, they don't, don't, don't tell them they look pretty or they look good. Tell them they look fantastic, right? right? That word is going to make you live longer every time you say it. It's an amazing word. Yes. And, and, and it's not merely uh, uttering the word, but really believing it. Got to believe it. Right? Yeah. Really uh, you gotta put it with harnessing emotion, emotion behind it. the power of the word, what it means, uh, how it makes you feel, how it makes other people feel. Uh, now, Dr. Fantastic, you talked a little bit about the importance of finding one's purpose or calling in life. Uh, you mentioned, you know, this has become, you know, your... Uh, purpose. This has become your way of giving back to the world. Um, how does one go about finding one's purpose? Uh, you know, especially young people out there, there's many of us uh, really not knowing what that next step should be, not knowing uh, what it is that we should make of our lives, how it is that we can have an impact. Uh, so to find one's purpose, one must... Do a lot of change. Take risk. Um, Eisner, he's a billionaire right now, but he started in the mailroom, and then he moved up to a clerk, and then he moved up to the, he moved up the ranks, never taking a chance in his life. So I don't have respect for someone like that. Do a job for a while, and then quit and try something new. Keep trying new experiences. The only way you're going to get common sense is by experience. So you need to keep changing it up. People say they'll come to me. I get a lot of calls down. The people who met me and they want advice. And the guy says, my girlfriend just broke up. What can I do? I said, that's fantastic. That means it wasn't meant to be. Now you're open to meet other new people. Live for yourself for a while. Mm-hmm. You know, people get divorced. That's fantastic. Now you can live for yourself. But it's as easy as being a good parent. If you're, you already chose your girl and you have kids, 
to be a good parent is going to make the world a better place. Too many people are parents by accident. They have babysitters. They're so busy working. They're not seeing their children grow up. That's a bad parent. The, the cure to the world's ills is being a good parent. Being a good parent instill confidence in your child that they're fantastic, not good. Why would you want your kid to be good? Right. <laughs> Come on. But people don't know any better. It's 600 years of evolution for, the, for this. How are you? Everyone every day gets asked that question. So there's two things we all have in common. We're going to be asked that question today, and we know that being positive is being better than negative. Positive thoughts manifest positive action. You know, you have, I talk to a lot of young kids, and they say, as an example, you know, one young man said, I want to be a fireman. I go, what are you doing to that end? He just wants to be a fireman. He has no plan. Hmm. So I said, here's what you do. Five minutes every day, go on the internet, go on to YouTube, and learn all the vernacular. Learn all the rules and regulations. Learn everything that a fireman would know by going to school or whatever. And when you go to school, you'll have all the answers because it's a free education. The internet and the library are free. But you have to make the initiative to start asking questions. These phones are the best. They're, they're the library of Congress. You just go, okay, Google, and ask that question, and you've got the instant answer. But if you don't d dedicate five minutes to what you want to do every day, and that adds up, but when you do five minutes, here's the, th here's the plan. It's a baby step, right? Five minutes is a baby step. Mm. But because you enjoy it, it's turned into 10 minutes or a half hour. But you have to commit to five minutes, okay? Um, as a screenwriter, if you want to be a writer, a lot of people say they want to be a writer. Write five minutes a day. And at the end of a month, it's 150 minutes. But make sure it's five minutes every single day. So it's a baby step. Consistency. Every day, make a step towards that. Don't think, oh, I have to write a book in a week. That's unrealistic. Write a book in it two years. Because two years ago you thought about it and you still haven't done it. <laughs> it's, it's taking accountability for your actions. Never be late. Never, ever be late. Not one minute. It's better to be an hour early and be unstressed. Mm -hmm. Remember, stress is all your fault. Then be a minute late. When you're early, you're on time. When you're on time, you're late. And when you're late, it's unacceptable, especially in show business. You know, Show up... Um, don't know your lines, but show up on time. Mm -hmm. It's better, you know. But when you show up early, you can relax. You can do uh, do some texts, some emails, some phone calls, some meditations. Uh, relax, read a book. You need to take stress out of your life. You know why people are stressed in traffic? Uh, because they want to get to their destination, probably on time, and they probably didn't leave home early enough. They're late. The simple answer is they're late. They're and late. whose fault is they're late? It's their fault they're late. 99% of the time. I'm never late. Ever late. It's a sin for me to be late. And 98 careers later, it's, I've never been late. I just, I, I just can't be late. Right. You know, if it's important. Yep. I mean, hopefully it's even a party. Why be late at a party? Well, it drives my wife crazy because we're early. <laughs> it's not politically correct to be early at a party, right? Right. Well, that's because you care what people are thinking. I watched this show called, um, I was just watching, what is it called? Heart... Uh, um, Heart of Dixie and um, it's a very good example of uh, people are so concerned with what everyone else is thinking about them oh he stood me up at the altar everyone's going to think uh, uh, terribly of me what difference does it make what they all think it's what happened between you and him and it's nobody else's business it's where it was disappointing but you stop thinking and girls especially they think if everyone doesn't like them or love them they have re they've been rejected no no I, I, a great example I like to use is I have a friend who likes 500 pound women he won't date a skinny woman hmm. he, they have to be huge so there's someone for everyone love yourself first thing is love yourself because if you can't love yourself how can you love your children or, 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 or a spouse or whatever um, and just take it take it slow have a dream dream big take chances you know people are so afraid of failure there's no such thing as failure a first attempt at learning is what it stands for in learning um when you rode a bike as a young boy, you fell down. You scraped your knee up, right? You put a Band-Aid on, and you got up and you rode the bike again. People are so afraid of failure. You won't learn or grow unless you take chances. Take some chances. So put yourself out there, uh, you know, throw yourself in the water. Yes. And, you know, learn by doing. Uh, just go out there. Yes. Don't let people's perceptions Correct. do what others are going to think hold you back from realizing the things you want to Because you are most realize. important. You're the one that's important, not everyone else's opinions. You, individual, 
You know, you can't help anyone. You know, what do they say on an airplane if the oxygen mask drops? Put it on first, then help others. So Tony comes first, and then the world comes second. And people say, no, my family comes first, my, my spouse comes first. That's bullshit. It's not selfish. It's smart. Be smart about things, you know. Help yourself, then help others, you know. Absolutely. And be kind. See, I say be kind, be polite, um, say uh, open doors for people. Fantastic people, open doors for people. They say thank you. They say please. They uh, let people in in traffic. It's two freaking seconds to let someone in in traffic. Um, and be courteous. Be, be you know, all those bees, but be fantastic. Is, 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 is a fantastic person. Is all those bees. Be kind is really big. Absolutely. Uh, well, you know, Dr. Fantastic, uh, you know, thank you so much for your time. Uh, for our listeners out there, uh, please tell us how they can follow you, how they can, you know, be a part of this movement. Okay. Well, um, one is the app. The phone app is Be Fantastic, B-E space Fantastic, um, and it's on both both platforms, Android and iPhone. Uh, I would encourage people to become an ambassador of positivity like you become, and all that's required is to stop saying the word good. And encourage other people to stop saying the word good and be kind. You know, that's the only thing. But you have to send me your email so we can list you. And, and I want to thank you, Tony, for being an ambassador. So I created a page on my app and on my website, BeFantasticToday.com and .org, um, that says Meet Our Ambassadors. Because I want to give you exposure to this global platform that I have. And someone in China will see that Tony is going to Yale. And, it might, and it's just your name, your bio. Uh, so some uh, links to what you want to tell the world about because if you're going to help me make the world a better place I want to help you uh, because it's uh, everything everyone has to win like my charity for veterans it's a beautiful design it's free for everyone I spent a lot of money on this it's free for veterans it's free for retailers so what happens is people give discounts to veterans listed, get listed on the site so the veteran gets uh, wins the retailer wins with more business the country wins with patriotism. Everyone wins. It, when everyone wins, it works. And everything I do, everyone wins. So uh, the audience, please join the movement at Be Fantastic on your app, on Be Fantastic Today. We have YouTube. Um, it's, um, it's called Be Fantastic as well, or Fantastic Interviews. Both those names will, will pop up. We've got an Instagram and a Twitter. And I'm looking for volunteers that want to help. I'm looking for ambassadors that just want to help spread the movement. And let's make the world a better place. It's pollinating positivity and cultivating civility. You can't go wrong. And it's so easy. Because again, every day everybody's listening is going to be asked how you are. Now, some people are going to get, get, withdraw and say, wow, you're fantastic. They've never heard of such a thing. They're going to doubt you. Does it matter that they doubt you if you believe you're fantastic? There's a lot of doubters out there, right? And there's a lot of negative people out there. But if you believe you're fantastic, you are now, one of my um, memes is, what you want to be, you can be. Hmm. Be fantastic. Right. It's that easy. It's, a, it's a, the most powerful word that I've come across. I love it. Dr. Fantastic, uh, thank you so much. Uh, it's been a great, uh, great honor. Uh, we hope to uh, have a conversation again uh, sometime in the near future. Uh, thank you so much. It's my sincere pleasure. Be fantastic, my friend. Yeah, be fantastic.